And today, we're happy to announce the latest steps in our efforts to expand solar power, green our vehicle fleet, and improve energy efficiency at city buildings. Let me take them in order. First, uh, to talk about solar power. We've now completed the installation of solar panels on 10 city buildings in all five boroughs. Uh, project made, projects made possible with federal funding. Thank you very much, federal government. And they will generate clean, affordable energy for those buildings, enough to power 143 households. And our administration, as you know, is committed to working with the private sector to build upon the city's investments in clean tech. Uh, last month, for example, we, ban we began requesting proposals to design, construct, install, and operate solar and wind power facilities at Fresh Kills on Staten Island. The second area where we've made major progress is in making the city's vehicle fleet more friendly, more efficient, and environmentally friendly. Let me give you one example. With the help of, uh, from federal funds, the Department of Sanitation has replaced five diesel street sweepers with hybrid vehicles, the first deployment of its kind anywhere in the nation. The third of the three areas that I mentioned, which we're happy to announce progress on, is our in our building efficiency upgrades, which will reduce the carbon footprint while lowering energy costs for the entire city. There's plenty of energy. Uh, if you take a look at the effect of painting roofs white, across the city in terms of uh, energy use. It reduces buildings on average something like 20 percent all of their energy use. It's enormous. And together, these will reduce our energy costs an estimated $32 million a year. So it's real money, and that's an annual savings. Uh, you can have an awful lot of more teachers and police officers and firefighters for $32 million a year.